Hi, in this uh, five minute uh, tutorial, I'll show you how to build your first report using JSON Studio and the Gateway and send it to your users. Um, so the first thing I'll do is I'll log into the studio where I will build my uh, query and report. And I'm going to use some World Bank data, so I uh, will pick this World Bank um, collection and each collection here is a funded project within uh, some country um, so what I'll do is I'll show you how to build a, a simple query and in this query I'm going to uh, filter based on a region name so if you look at each one of these documents they have a field uh, called region name um, so down here for example you see this this project is in in, in Africa and if I want to see all of the projects in Africa all I need to do is double click on the world on the word Africa and you can see here that it added a condition called uh, region name colon Africa so I'm filtering and only seeing um, documents for Africa and I can also click on the construct query using double click tab and see that condition over here and you can see that each document that's coming back in my results set is still very complex and perhaps my users only want to see uh, which region it's in, what country is being funded and how much money is funded and the way that I do this is I pick certain columns or I do a projection what I do is I hold down the alt button and I double click for example region name so it adds you can see up here it adds a projection showing the column or the field region name and you can see each document now is only showing me the region name. Maybe that's not enough. Maybe I also want to get uh, the country name. So again, I hold down the Alt button and double click country name. And maybe double click uh, with, with the Alt button, the grant amount and the approval date. And so what I have here is exactly what I wanted. The, each document now is showing me exactly the fields that I want or if I look at the table view you can see that this is uh, exactly what I wanted what what uh, what year uh, the project was funded which country it was in what the region was and how much the grant amount was um, and if I want to make sure if I want to see exactly what the users are going to see I can click on the report button and it will open up the report. This is kind of what I want my users to be able to see. Um, the next thing that I'll do is I'll parameterize this report because right now it's always going to show the Africa uh, countries. But really what I want is I want the user to pick which region they want to see. So instead of this string over here which is hard coding, I'll put in region. And so what I'm doing is parameterizing this report and that's 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 what I want um, the next thing that I'll do is I'll give this report or query a name so let me call it uh, reg1 um, and maybe I'll also publish it so now I'm all set and I, I I'm pretty much finished with the studio with the building piece and now I want to give it to my users so what I'll do is I'll click on the publish URL button and what it'll give me is a dialog where I specify all kinds of other things that, that the user, the end user, will see when they open up this report. So, for example, um, I can put in my username uh, where they will, you know, if this is a functional ID or it's the user that I want them to use. Uh, if I leave this empty, if I leave the password field empty, then they will have to put in the password in order to view the report or I can even have them use their own user account in order to view the report. I specify what the format that I want. Do I want it a report? Do I want them to see the JSON data? Do I want them to be, be able to download a CSV file, etc.? Um, do I want to limit the results or, you know, in this case I'll leave it empty because I don't want to limit the results. And then it knows that there's a region uh, parameters so I can either put a value in here but in in my case I don't really want to put a value I want the user to be able to put the value um, and therefore choose the region that they want to to report and if so if, so so I'm done at this point I click the publish URL and what I get is a set of 
is a URL that now uh, points to my report. And now I can copy paste this um, into an email. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll send this to my user. Or I'll send it to, to myself right now, um, and you know, uh, no subject. I'll click subject in here, and I send it to myself. And then I don't really need, I'm no, I'm no longer within the studio, I have nothing to do with the studio. Um, the email gets sent. Let me wait a couple of seconds, hopefully the email will arrive. And here's the email that I received uh, for myself in this case. And this is what my users will see, or your users will see. So um, what, what, what a user would do is just click this URL and we'll get this screen. Now if, if there were no parameters then it would go directly to the report and they would just see the data in the report. In this case because there's a parameter they need to fill in the value for the parameter, you know for example Africa, and then submit it and then they see the report. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you've built your uh, query, you've parameterized it, you send it to your users and your users can now access reports. The same is true for uh, charts and graphs. If you build uh, graphs, then they will see those graphs in the same way or be able to download CSVs. And so it really does take minutes with JSON Studio and the Gateway to build uh, reports that you can send to your users. Thank you for joining. For more information, go to jsonstudio.com.